you had one tip, one practical tip to offer a writer mm. about actually getting the job done, you know, actually the job of get, writing a script. Yeah, right. what, what what would that one thing be? Um, I think it's about. I think with with me, I can only really go from my own experience, and everyone's experience of a, as as a writer is different and and unique to them. But <clears throat> I think uh, for me, it, it was just I was really focused. I think that's the thing. You have to have a period in your life where you are just focusing on this one thing and this one thing only. You know, I stopped going out and like you know, sort of, I, I let my social life suffer. I was living in a flat with like five people. I would sit in the corner of the living room on my computer, sort of writing. I was, just, but it was like, but more than that, more than the actual just sort of working all the time. It was the focus. I was just thinking about it all the time. I was thinking about getting this script done. You know, how am I going to make this script better? I would go to bed at night thinking about that script, thinking of ideas. I'd be on the tube. I'd be writing ideas down. You know, and and all about that one script, that first script that I was writing, because you can write. 50, 100, 1,000 scripts that are good, mm. but what you really need to break into this industry is something that is at least viewed by some people as exceptional, exceptional enough to, for them to put a million plus dollars into it of their own money or of someone, you know, of money that they're responsible mm. for. So, and to, to kind of inspire that, I think you need to try, be trying to create something that's as near perfect as you can make it. Mm. So um, that's probably my okay. one tip. Okay, well look, my f final two questions, which I, I ask everybody. Yeah. Um, what mistakes do you think you've made in your career? Um, it's, I, look, I mean, you know, it's like uh, how you look at life, isn't it? I don't, I probably don't look at my career and think I've made mistakes as such. There are certain decisions that I made that, didn't work out perhaps yeah. but you always learn from those I mean I did you know I've done a couple of studio jobs for example where like maybe I did a studio job that where where the idea was good but I I wasn't so passionate about it that I was really wanting to spend six months of my life or a year of my life working on it and you suffer for that you know because then you do have to spend six months or a year working on it and it's not easy and you know that that mm. can be hard um, That's interesting. You should talk about that because mm. we, Judy and I were talking about that. How do you, if you don't have the passion, mm. how do you manufacture that that desire? If if you're doing it just for the dollars, mm. um, well, you you can't really. I think <laughs> that's the thing. It's Damn like it. yeah. That, and that's that's the lesson. You can't do a job just for the money yeah. because it won't work. It yeah. just won't. You yeah. you do a job because you are you really want to make this film. You want to make you want to see it made and you want that film to be the film that you wrote and that represents you. And yeah. I think that's what with me anyway, that's what inspires me. You know, that feeling of like I want this film out there and I want people to know that this is, you know, my film. And I, you know, because if you're writing something that you don't feel that connected to, then yeah, you, you just won't be able to give it the heart and soul that it needs. Right. Okay, and the final question, mm. um, what advice would you offer an emerging filmmaker? It can be anything you want. Life advice, movie advice, script advice, Hollywood advice, anything. Um, uh, again, I, I think I just said it in the last question, just that thing about being focused, you know, a aiming for something. Like, no one can write a perfect script, but as perfect as you can make it. Um, and, you know, maybe being aware that there's a lot of rejection out there for any screenwriter. I don't care, you know, who it is. They've gone through a rejection um, and probably a lot of it before, mm. you know, before you have success and trying as best they can to not let that, that rejection mm. discourage them. If they really believe in themselves, then they have to turn that rejection to a kind of a positive, let it make them angry and, mm. you know, even more determined. I mm. think that that's probably what happened to me as well. Fantastic. Well, listen, Dean, thank you very much uh, for sharing your wisdom that's with right. us. Thank and you. if you get a chance to see Death at a Funeral, do it because our man is here um, and uh, he shared everything he knows uh, with you about filmmaking. So um, thank you very much again, Dean, and uh, good luck with the, uh, the release of the film. Thank you.